Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create Windows 11 USB boost able with the UEFI standard. Okay, so now let's get started. Firstly, you have to download the Windows 11 from the internet to your PC. You go to the Microsoft.com and find the Windows 11 to download the ISO file. I will also put the link for this download window in the description of this video. Okay, so here you scroll it down and you go to the download section. Here I have the download window 11 this image ISO file. I will click on the drop down button here to select the version of the window 11 and click on download button. So here I have to select the language for my window 11. I will select the English version for United States. And then click on confirm button to download. So the last step I have to select the 64 bit version of the window 11 to download. And then I have to wait until the ISO file is download complete on my window PC. To save the time, I already download the file on my PC, so thus I will cancel this one. Okay. And the second software, you have to download the a new software, which will be support you to create the USB boostable with the Windows 11 version. So here you can use the Rufus 3.18 version. It's the latest version for now. Yeah. I will also paste this link into the description of the video. Okay, so here I will scroll it down and I go to the access section. Here I will click on the executable file to download the setup file onto my PC. Yeah, done. So now I will open this one and copy the file into the Windows 11 folder. Yeah, my it maker. Okay, so here basically is I have two files. The first one is the window 11 with the edit version on the left hand side. And in the right hand side, I have the Rufus 3.18 executable file. And the last thing I have to prepare a USB. We need to have the USB with the capacity E greater than or equal 8 gigabyte. So here I will click on this Rufus software to open it here. Yeah. It will open a pop-up. And in this pop-up, I have some G option. So the first one you see here, I have the by default, it will select the USB on my Windows PC. And here, my the USB here with the eight gigabyte of the capacity. Okay, and the second thing, I have to select the boost selection. Yeah, I select the ISO file of the Windows 11. Select and open the window 11. Yeah. And so the next option, I will left this one by default for the image option. And for the partition scheme, I will select the option is ZPT. And target system, it will be the UEFI here yeah, by default. So if you go to the format options, I have the volume label. Yeah, I will change this one. I will copy the name of the window 11. So that's I will name for my USB. Okay. And the file system and the cluster size, I will keep this one by default. You click on the start button to trigger the process for creating the USB with the window boost able. Click on this one. And you have to click on OK button to get confirmation. Because before we install the necessary file into the USB, we have to delete everything inside the USB. Yeah, OK. So that's, it will take some time to format the USB and then copy file from the ISO file into the USB. OK, let's wait. Yeah, so the installation is complete. You can see the status is ready. Okay, so let me close this one. And I will open the, this PC. Yeah, and you see here, the USB has been changed the icon to indicate this already contains the version of the Windows 11 inside. 
Okay, cool. And inside this USB, we have some the self file and some the boost manager. Yeah, and auto run file here. Okay, so we have just finished creating the USB with the boost label of the Windows 11 with the standards of the UEFI. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.